Now let's pass to the practical part. I'm going to create a new resource that contain an Azure Databricks with a premium uh, pricing and then I'm going to create a new SQL warehouse by doing the first query in this SQL Data Warehouse. Let's get started by creating our resource in the Azure portal. Then I have created a, a resource group and then I'm going to create an Azure Databricks resource. And then create my Azure Databricks. In North Europe, he be careful. Uh, choose the premium um, price triggering. Uh, you don't you don't choose the standard because you don't you don't find the SQL uh, insight. So please choose the premium uh, price triggering, and then create my resource it will be deployed it takes sometimes maybe one minute to be created my resource is ready I'm going to click on my resource and launch my workspace As we see here, I have three possibilities, a data science and engineering possibility, a machine learning and SQL possibility. For our case, for a data warehousing, we are going to use a SQL. But before, I'm going to be sure that I have the correct configuration in settings and then admin console my user it should be an admin like i said in the previous video is an admin to create a cluster and databricks access sql access so be sure that you have this right and next i'm going to go to my sql okay as you see here we have and if you are an admin, you can configure your data access and you can grant permission on your uh, SQL data warehouses and you can review uh, your SQL warehouses. In the first tab, here I have three tabs, the general, the alert destination and the SQL warehouse setting. In the uh, warehouse seeking, we have two parameters, the data access configuration to give access to um, someone to the uh, data warehousing and the SQL configuration parameter. The alert destination, you can notify um, your destination of a SQL query uh, result by this tab. And here the general um, tab that contain a date and time format, visualization, download, uh, dashboard subscription, uh, failure email, language, and etc. If I go back, I have my catalog here. I have a Hive Metastore and a sample. And on the catalog, you can create uh, um, some databases. You can get start um, with your with your warehouses, and here we have all uh, the 
warehouses and we can create another warehouses for example test warehouses okay create and here I can manage my permission on the warehouses I can good the sample configuration and the statue is starting and the configuration oh, I have choice if you want to connect to the Power BI Tableau or uh, more BI tools you can download the configuration uh, file to get start to connect your to your data warehouses here you, if you are in case if you are using Power BI, choose the connector either Databricks and then the host name. Um, put this URL and the power protocol and the HTTP path. Let's go to run your first uh, SQL query. Here we have a dashboard that we can write a SQL syntax by choosing the default SQL warehouses okay and then we have the history and the draft of your sql execution